Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is a very good day. Today is a wonderful day. Today is a very blissful day. We are meeting once again as people of God. We are meeting to pray. We are meeting to intercede. You are doing the right thing by interceding for people and praying for people who need prayers and coming together as one and praying for the world, praying for our countries, praying for our families, praying for our siblings, praying for our neighbors and everyone. May God richly bless you. Thank you for subscribing to Dominion Outreach TV. Uh, the program we always bring to you every weekend, Dominion Encounter. God richly bless you. It's your brother, Magdodu, President of Voice of Dominion Outreach. God richly bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, we are glorifying the Lord this morning, this afternoon, this evening. Let us glorify the Lord. I want you to lift up your voice and give the Lord all the glory. I want you to lift up your voice and give all the God all the honor. Where would we have been without Him? In the name of the Lord Jesus, where would we be without Him? Let us lift up our voice and praise the Lord. Let us lift our voice and worship the Lord. Le talabako bredo zebeledi le matu bakade mele de brekeste la zalakina maladizi brato bekosha le Bato braki belente se behandi la zizi bili baladia le prato pakosh le zobra ke bele de zati in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God Father will lift up your name for this day that uh, you've made this day for us and we are counted among the living or that we say the glory and honor be yours in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God thank you so much my brother my sister. My friend, my father, my mother, thank you so much for coming to join me, for us to join hands to pray. God richly bless you. Today is, we were talking about something, about reports. We are talking about reports. We, whenever we go to the hospital, yes, the doctor may give us his report concerning our health issues, even in this time of COVID-19. I believe that we're talking about people having other conditions. They always say that if you have an underlying condition, you can easily die of COVID-19. That is a report or a research that the, 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 the health practitioners and the researchers have been making. It is a report they are given at times when you don't have anything, you don't have any money, you believe that you are poor because people tell you you are poor. That is a report and it is up to you to believe it or not. But I came to announce to you that whatever bad report that has come your way, I want you to refuse it and accept a good report in your life. Because what you say stays. Whatever that comes out of your mouth, whatever your faith comes or whatever your faith accept in your life that is what come to you so today we are coming to talk about a report uh, that came into being during the time of the israelites when moses and aaron went to egypt and they went to deliver the, the the israelites from slavery and they were sending them to their promised land because god has promised them Cana, a land that is filled with milk and honey, a land that is filled with good things, a land that is filled with better things, a land that is filled with great destinies and great prospects. But the Bible says that when they go to the time where they had to reach their promised land, the Bible says that Moses sent spies to go and survey the land. As a matter of fact, there were 12 tribes of Israel and all the 12 tribes, every individual or everyone is taken from their tribe to go and survey the land and bring them a report. And that is the report that today we are here to talk about. We are here to talk about that report that happened or that that, that took place or that announcement uh, that was made uh, when those 12 tribes went to survey the land of Cain. That's why we are here today. So we will take our Bible verse or quotation from no Numbers chapter 13. And when we read the verse 1 coming, it tells you about 
the tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes, the people that were sent to survey the land filled with milk and honey. And I want us to start reading from the verse 26 coming down. From 26 of Numbers chapter 13, I read. They came back to Moses and Aaron and the whole Israelite community at Kadesh in the desert of Paran. There they reported to them, to the whole assembly, and showed them the fruit of the land. Because Moses said that when they go, they should bring the first fruits of the land. They want to see how the land flourishes, how the plants grow. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land to which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful. And the cities are fortified and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites live in the Negev. The Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites live in the hill country. And the Canaanites live near the sea and, the, and along the Jordan. Then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can, set, we can certainly do it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We can't attack those people. They are stronger. And they spread among the Israelites bad report about the land they had explored. They said, The land we explored divorced those living in it. That was a bad report. That How did you know that that land divorced its people? How did you know? Because you have never been to that land before. So I come to tell you, how did you know that you are going to die of that diabetes? How did you know that that COVID-19 is going to kill you? How did you know that how, that hypertension is going to kill you? How did you know? Because you have never experienced it before. It is something that came into you. How did you know that you are going to die of poverty? But they were saying that the land is divorced each people. How did you know? Because you have never been to that land before. That was your first time of going there. That was a bad report. Yes, the doctor may have given you a bad report. He may have told you you can never give birth. You are barren. But don't forget that Hannah was barren, but he gave birth to a Samuel. Don't forget that Sarah was so many years old. As a matter of fact, he was, she had passed the childbearing age, but she gave birth. So why do you believe those reports. Why is your faith shaking? Why do you think that all hope is lost? A bad report. But Caleb and Joshua silenced the people. He said, let us go up and take possession of our land. My brother, my sister, your possession is just closer to you. What God said, as God has said concerning your life is just nearer to you. You just have to stretch just increase your faith. Just be stronger and push forward and take what God has said concerning your life. Do not believe any report. Do not believe that you will die because you are not going to die. It is, you will never die prematurely. It is time for you to take your possession. It is time for you that the destiny God has orchestrated for you to come to pass. You are not going to believe any bad report that you will die before your time. I put it to you. You will never die before your time because it is a bad report. Yes, the doctor said that you die of diabetes, but I tell you, you will never die of diabetes. You will never die of COVID-19. You will never die of hypertension because you are a child of God and it is your possession. God has given you life and life to its fullness. I tell you, Satan came to steal, to kill and to destroy but God has come. He has come Come, he has come. Jesus came out that he will give you life and give it more abundantly. So the life God gives is an abundant life. So you will never die. Never believe any bad report that come your way. Never believe the doctor's report. But come to Jesus because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the author and the, and the perfecter of our faith. He, he is the miracle working God. When the doctor says no, God says yes. And God's final judgment holds what God says is the one 
understands. So believe and have faith in the Lord. Believe and stand firm in your faith. And never believe the bad report. Like the, the other ten tribes, they came with a bad report that we, the Amalekites are there, the Jebusites are there, the Hittites are there. We are even like grasshoppers before them. Uh, even the land, it divorced, it divorced its people. How did you know that? When I came to tell, never believe that report. There's a report from Jesus. Believe only the report of Jesus that it is well with your soul. Tell the righteous man it is well. Believe the report of God. When he says that he has delivered you, he has delivered you. If he tells you that whatever the can come on the permanent must eat it, he has restored it, he has restored it. It is in God that there's restoration. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So never believe any bad report that came your way or that has come your way in the name of Jesus. Because of the bad report the ten other tribes came with or their ten other people came the Bible says when you read the verse 40 it said that night all the people of the community we are still reading Numbers chapter 14 still reading Numbers that night all the people of the community raised their voices and wept aloud all Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron the whole assembly sent, said to them, If only we had died in Egypt or in this desert, why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Because of the report, people started panicking. My brother, never panic. Never do anything against the Lord. Never give up. Never let what people are saying change your mind about God. Because the people gathered and they, they wanted to even be stone Moses and Aaron. Verse 5 of chapter 14 of Numbers. Then Moses and Aaron fell down in front of the whole Israelite assembly gathered there. Joshua son of Nun and Caleb son of Je Jephunneh, who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes and said to the entire Israelite assembly, The land we passed through and explore this exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And we will give it and he will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord, beloved, do not rebel against the Lord because of a report you think that God has rejected you. So you you are now groaning in your sin. You are groaning in weeping. Yes, I know people when they get those kind of reports that they are dying, they tell oh, let me also enjoy life. Maybe you've gotten HIV AIDS. Maybe you've gotten a chronic disease, asthma. Maybe you think you are dying because of the report of the doctor. And for that reason, you want to enjoy life. So you want to spend everything. You want to do whatever you want to do because of the report. So you want to rebel against the Lord because you think that God has not been fair to you. But I tell you, everything happens for a reason. And when you get into that situation, it is because for the glory of the... It is because the glory of God, God has to be seen in your situation. That's why you are in that situation. When the disciples... And Jesus met that, that man. The Bible said the other day, this, this man was dying. This man, this man was sick. This man is full of leprosy. This man is full of evil spirit. And the disciples asked, is it the mother or the father who has sinned? And Jesus said, so that the glory of the Lord will be seen. I tell you, you are in that situation so that the glory of the Lord will be seen. God will never disgrace you. He will never disgrace you. Yes, you are looking for a job and the job is not coming. I tell you, your, your, your door is open now. And you will receive a job that will be, that your pay or your salary will overwhelm you. Something that you never thought of. These people wanted to kill Moses and Aaron because of their report. But what did Joshua said, Beloved, surrender yourself, surround yourself, I mean, with people who will give you a good report, with people who will give you an encouraging report. 
people who inspire you. When things are tough, they will tell you inspirational things. They will inspire you. They will pray with you. They will kneel down with you. They will fast with you. They will encourage you in every situation. Even when things are tough, they will stand by you. They will be friends. Like last week, we were talking about Jonah. We were talking about Jonah and the friends you surround yourself with. And 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 and, and because of Jonah, those those sailors they lost a lot of their cargoes. There's there's a friend. We always say that a friend in need. Is a friend indeed. And we always, we always say that there's a friend that is more than a brother. Surround yourself with people who will tell you or who inspire you, who will encourage you, who will stand by you in times of difficulties. It's not people when you have money, they are with you. If you don't have, they run away. It's not like people. When you are sick, like what happened to Job, the Bible says that Job was sick. Job had a lot of sores. Job lost everything. Job lost his his kids because they they they, they all they all died. He he lost everything. But the Bible says that all his friends they ran away and left him to die. They told him that he should curse his God and die. Even the wife said that curse your God and die. But I tell you, surround yourself with people who encourage you, who will not tell you to curse your God and die. Like these ten people who gave a bad report, and for that reason, there are people who wanted to 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 stone Moses and Aaron. But I, t- I tell you and I come to you that just as Job, his people left him, uh, never give up. Uh, because when there's a time of restoration coming, uh, because the Bible says that when the restoration came, uh, Job had uh, about double what he had already. Those that he lost. He, he, God restore whatever he lost back to him. God will restore your situation. Hallelujah. God will restore your situation. Hallelujah. Never believe any bad report that tells you to curse your God and die. Never believe a report that will tell you that uh, your God has left you. But when we read, when we read, you see what Joshua and Caleb did. Uh, they said, that, no, 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 no. Let us go at once and occupy the land. Uh, and he's saying that, oh, 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 verse 7. And said to the entire Israelite assembly, the land we pass through and explore is exceedingly good. It is exceedingly good. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land. A land flowing with milk and honey, and we will give it and, and will give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not be afraid of the people of the land, because we will swallow them up. Their protection is gone. I like that. If it is your Bible, you can uh, you can you can underline it. Their protection is gone, but the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. Their protection is gone. I, I was wondering, God was with them. He parted the Red Sea into two. When they needed water, he, he provided water. When they needed food, he gave them manna. So I was wondering why now they are shaking. God has done it before for you. We always express is the best teacher. God has done it for you. There were times where you thought you were dying, you never die. So why do you doubt God now? Why? I remember back in the university days, in University for Development Studies, there was this lady who had a motor accident and the rib was broken and the doctor said they needed, she needed a, a, an operation to be well. And I remember, I'm not saying this to glorify myself, this is, I'm saying this to glorify the Lord. Then me and a group of people, we prayed for this man, this, this lady. I salute you, Papa. God bless Ampem Dakum. He guided us. We prayed for this lady. And when he went back to test again, the doctor said there's a miracle. He said, oh, you know what? This, your rib, is perfect now. Why am I putting this across? What I'm trying to say is that God has done it before. So why do you doubt now? He, 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 he led you from, from Egypt to this time. So why do you doubt God now? I want to tell you, never doubt God. God is there for you. He will always be there for you. Never believe in the bad report. But stand firm in the Lord. Be like Caleb and, 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 and Joshua. 
Surround yourself with people like those people. And you can also be like them and do not say bad words. Do not curse God. Do not rebel against the Lord. But in every situation, all things work together for good to them that love God and to the call according to his purpose. So let us pray that, oh God, whatever situation that I am in, I'm not believing any bad report. But Lord, I am believing that, oh God, you are my answer. Oh God, you are the miracle working God. So attend to my situation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whether it is work, whether it is job, whether it is it is sickness, whatever situation you are in, surrender it unto the Lord right now. Let us pray. Le palado bekoche, le palada kido mahatiya, le se le breke bele de zuba, ramatum bikati no shaha, rato shekete, re bele de zuvi librati, le zalada ki mahande le breente, le kosha hato, rapalado shebe kosha, ramatu braku bidi pratasti, ramaladi ki zibidi bre antelege, le sete, le sete, le sete, ratu. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching and thank you for praying with me. Next weekend, we're going to be come together again and pray. I would like you to subscribe to the channel, Dominion Atri TV. Subscribe, like, and share it with your friends. That every weekend, they can also come back and we will pray together. Press the bell button for future notifications so that whenever I, I post this video or whenever I come online, you'll be able to see it. You can also go to our Facebook handle, Voice of Dominion. Go and like our page. From Monday to Fridays, we always post, we always post uh, devotional messages. God richly bless you. I love you. And I know you love me too. Bye-bye.